So you're not getting the power out of your Ryobi tools that you expected or have seen from other people. And the problem might be your battery. Realistically, well, Ryobi touts that all these batteries, even back to the Nikeds, are compatible with all their new tools. That's not really the case anymore, and you really have to use specific batteries with specific tools. And to complicate that matter just slightly, Ryobi is changing their battery platform a little bit to make it confusing. So we're going to clear all that up today. Stick with us. To start this off, we need to understand the difference between the HP battery or the high performance battery in the non HP battery. If we look at a normal battery that is not HP, you have the positive and negative for the tool, and then you have two more ports that the charger uses for balancing and information transfer as to what's going on. That's all you have on this battery pack. If we look at one of their high performance battery packs, we have the same positive and negative, the two terminals used when charging, but also two more terminals up front that help with extra power going to the tool. That's true on their HP battery pack here, see the two extra terminals, or their high performance battery packs here. What's changing is that the HP line is going to be gone away. So if you find anything with lithium plus HP, this is going to be an older battery. You might find these on sale very soon. They're changing over to what is going to be called their high performance. Basically, it's going to be a little bit smaller battery, still using 18650 cells, but a little bit better circuitry on the inside. So. If you have HP batteries, don't worry about it. Keep them, use them, they're gonna work good. Know that they're just changing the name to high performance. There's gonna be very little difference there. The older packs are basically gonna stay the same, but they're gonna get a fuel gauge on the back. So there's gonna be a slight bit of upgrade. So if you see these older packs around without the fuel gauge, you might wanna pick a couple up, but these are not what you want to use on many of the new tools. Let's just take, for example, this impact wrench, which rocked it. One of the first and best impact wrenches Ryobi has come out with, in my opinion. See these two little pieces back here? They connect to the two terminals up front and allow the other two terminals inside to also connect, giving this tool more power. So if we were to use this tool, with another tool that doesn't have the terminals up front, we would get less power out of it. And a great example of that is this gr angle grinder. When we were using this tool, we used a battery that was even a, a low amp hour battery and it didn't work. But beyond using this small battery with this angle grinder, even though it doesn't have these two ports, we could move up to what's called the HP or high performance battery that does have these two ports in this small battery cannot run this large of a tool flat out. This larger tool barely runs well with the four amp hour high performance. Realistically, when you see these two extra nodes in here and you see a tool that's going to have a high demand, you need to move up to the six or nine amp hour batteries to really get good performance out of it. You're going to see that with that angle grinder, you could probably use the 4 amp hour battery with this impact wrench, but you're not going to get the full 600 foot pounds of removing force. And realistically, if you're using this recip saw, even Ryobi rates this recip saw using a 9 amp hour battery. So the HP line doesn't completely go across the board and say if you have an HP tool, use an HP battery, you need to use a bigger battery. Now when we look at the impact driver, this is an HP impact driver, but it does not have any more connections than the two, the positive and negative on the inside because it doesn't need the extra power. Here's a drill. This drill does need the extra power here. So when you're picking this tool up and you want the best performance out of it, you're going to need to use at a minimum the HP battery, but know this little compact dude isn't going to give you as much as this 4 amp hour. And on this tool, you might see a difference between the 4 amp hour and moving up to the 6 amp hour. 
clear as mud. So the basics here of what's happening is Ryobi is making HP tools, but not all HP tools are requiring the HP batteries, which is gonna cause confusion. And I'm gonna guess that 80% of the Ryobi users out there are using these smaller batteries or have a maximum of a four amp hour non high performance battery in their toolkit. So when they go to pick up this recip saw, which is an HP tool or this impact wrench and they put their older battery in here, non HP, they're not gonna get the power. And if you buy a kit like this drill and driver kit, even if you're using the two amp hour HP battery with the drill, you're still not going to get the power, right? Confusing. This two amp hour HP battery is awesome to have around, but it really makes this line confused because you cannot use some of the HP tools with it, but it's labeled as HP or high performance. So what do you need to know? Anytime that we're talking about a larger, power sucking tool like an impact wrench, a miter saw, a recip saw, an angle grinder, or a high power drill even, you have to think I need a larger battery. And in my world, I would say six amp hour and up to really get good use out of those tools and be happy. If you don't use those batteries, you're going to see a negative review come out on the Home Depot or wherever you see the reviews because the right battery wasn't used. And when the brushless tools first came out with Ryobi way back in the day, I remember we got them and we didn't have the new HP battery. We were only using our normal batteries with them and we weren't really thrilled with the performance. But about two months later, after those tools were out, the, the high performance batteries came out and it really changed the way those tools worked. So there's confusion there. And I know a lot of you guys have posted on that video back then, hey, use the right battery, but they weren't available. So it's a hard thing to think about. And there's a lot of lines that are doing this. And Milwaukee does it with their HD line, but you use the specific larger battery with that tool and you get the right power. Use the wrong battery, you don't get the power. It's not just Ryobi, but I think it's going to affect Ryobi more than the rest because I think 80% don't have the batteries that they're gonna need because they haven't changed this battery system. Now, if you go back and use one of your NICAD batteries, if you still have one that's alive with one of these big tools, it isn't gonna work. It will work, it'll turn the tool on, but the tool physically won't do the work. Or if it does, it'll do it at a very low power for a very short time. If you're gonna upgrade to these HP tools, especially when you flip it over and go, oh yeah, I've got two extra pins in the back, you're gonna need to most likely have a six or a nine amp hour battery to get the advertised power from that tool and to really be happy with it. This two and four amp hour battery that they have in the HP series, it's a little confusing. I'm sure they're better battery packs, but in most cases, they're not gonna be the batteries you wanna use for these tools. Again, I hope that's a little clearer than mud at this point in time. If you're in the HP line or if you're in the brushless line, make sure that you've got at least one six or one nine amp hour battery so that when the tool comes in and you're using it and you're saying this doesn't feel right, swap the battery over and I think you're gonna see a huge difference. And if you read some reviews online about some of the brushless tools not working real well, and you have to look at two things. One, it's a DIY tool, it's not a Milwaukee construction tool, and two, is the user who's giving us the review using the right battery. For a lot of us out there in the higher end tool world, we've lived through this with other tool companies and have kind of learned the, uh, you just look at a tool and you go, okay, that's a bigger, you know, powerful tool. I need the larger battery. But that's not gonna be just in everyone's head. They're gonna pick up the tool and say, okay, I got this new powerful tool. I'm gonna use my little battery with it and this thing better rock. And it'll turn on, it'll work, but it may not rock. So a lot of me bumbling, talking, 
I hope it's clear. If it's not clear, leave a comment below. I will try to get down there and answer all the questions. The HP line that's here in leaving is going to be switched over to the high performance line. Those two battery packs, while they're going to be slightly different, are almost the same. No worries. Stay in the six and nine amp hour and hope they have a 12 amp hour coming out. And then from there, your other battery packs, I don't know everything that's going to happen with them, but for the most part, these are probably going to be given away in the combo kits or different sets where people aren't buying the more expensive HP tools. But if you buy those kits and get a bunch of these batteries and then buy an HP tool as a bare tool just to upgrade, you're really not getting your money's worth out of that tool unless you have the right battery. So make sure that you match the tool and the battery and it gets expensive, sorry to say. With that said, please give us a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave those comments and questions below. As always, have a great day.